But wow, what a moment I will never forget. A moment that is most pleasing to me in my career. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who's B, it's a girl called B coming at you with a new video. So today we're going to be talking about Love Island Season 8, Episode 32. This was the Castle Moore recoupling. And let me tell you right now, I'm shooketh. Like, I'm shook. Like, that episode lived up to the hype. Um, let's just get right into the video because it was a lot. It was a lot. Okay, so, you know, Laura's there, she's talking, she's asking him if they want to stick or twist. And, you know, the person who goes first is Jay. Obviously, Jay was going to recouple, of course, because he was in a friendship couple with Danica. So, Jay recouples with China. And then Danica comes back, and she comes back with Josh. So, she recouples with Josh. So it was basically a nice little friendly, like, you know, I'm happy for you, I'm happy for you. You know, genuine happiness, because obviously they were in a friendship couple. The next recoupling is Davity. So Davity decides to stay single and, you know, recouple with Ekansu. Ekansu comes back from Castle and Moore, and she is single. So obviously, even though Davity was talking all that trash and Casa and blah, 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 like, Ekin who, Ekin who? He still was like, okay, he's gonna stick with Ekin Sue. So therefore, you know, Ekin Sue, Davity is a couple. Now we get to Dami and India. Oh Lord. Dami is next up. So Dami, you know, Laura asked Demi if he wants to stick or twist. And then he says something a little sly like summer's not over, and he decides to recouple with Summer. So I was shook because I was like, what? But I mean, with the madness that he was moving, I was like, okay. Next thing you know, I was like, India's coming back single. India's coming back single. Yeah, yeah, yeah. India come back and she's back with Deji. And I was like, whoa. I was like, exactly. Because if he didn't couple up with Summer, I'm glad she got Deji walking in with. So he come, he coming in, acting all salty, acting all pressed. It was like, you know, oh, you're a heartbreaker, blah, 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 blah. You know, I wish you all the best, all that sarcasticness that he was talking about. And, you know, India basically ate. She ate. She was like, may the best heartbreaker. When she was cool, calm, collected, like, she really just served, okay? Really. Um, the thing is, is that in any type of way, India didn't go about the way of bringing back Deji the way Dami did. Dami was just straight disrespectful, just straight acting like this was just a holiday. He could do whatever he want. It, that's how he was acting like. India, she was like, she was getting to know Deji. She decided that, you know, she has more connection with Dami. I think that's pretty obvious but she also wanted to explore her connection with Deji you know give him a chance because obviously those three or four days in Casa more is not enough it's not long enough so obviously she wanted to recouple um Deji I'm saying that I think a producer definitely gave her a tip you know something to let her know to recouple because she came back ready. Like, she was just ready. She just was unimpressed with what Dami did. Like, she just came back ready. And she was just on point with everything. I don't think if, in actual reality, I don't think she would have brought, brought back Deji at all. But she brought back Deji because I think somebody tipped her or whatever. And also because Dami and India are basically, like, male-female versions of themselves. Kind of. Like... India says that she's a player. Dami is basically a player. And I feel like they both recoupled because they didn't want to get heartbroken. AKA heartbreaker made the best heartbreaker win because they didn't want to get mugged off. They didn't want to, you know, have their heart breaking. You know, they don't want to look like a mug standing up there by themselves. And, you know, somebody recouples. It's actually 
Yeah, so that's what that's my take on it. I feel like they just didn't want to get played. They didn't want to look mug, like a mug, you know. That's why they did. Because I, it's obviously clear that they both still have stronger feelings for each other than the people that they're paired up with. So we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, anything can happen. Um, yeah. So that was that was like the shook if part of the episode, like heightened. So next was Andrew. No, next was it was next was either Luca, and obviously Luca stayed single. He was basically sleeping on David. Gemma came back single. They both recoupled. Uh, next was Andrew, and now Andrew shook because Andrew recoupled with Coco, and then Tasha came back with Billy. So he was just like, yeah, the girls are right. You know, he tell more lies than Pinocchio. Like, Mans was really just dissing Tasha straight to her face with a whole crowd. Like, just straight disrespecting her. And I'm just like, whoa. Like, whoa. Uh, yeah, so, and then, you know, Tasha and Billy up there. And, you know, he, he was just pressed. And the funny thing is that both Danny and Andrew were pressed because India and Tasha recoupled, but, like... You did the same thing. Like, why are you upset? But uh, obviously you can tell the reason why they're upset is because they have stronger connection, stronger feelings for the person that, you know, for, for you know, their previous couple. So then next was, I think, was Jocks. So Jocks decided to stay single and, you know, stick with, Paige. Paige comes back single and you know that was what happened. They both were coupled together. So Paige and Jocks were together. So then Laura brings out the last three guys from Cass and Moore and then the last three girls. So Cheyenne, Molly, Jasmine did not get picked. And yeah. So the next thing you know uh, we got Molly saying that she had a stronger, she thought she, she didn't think she was going to be standing up there. You know, Laura asked, who did you have a strong connection with? She said Jocks. So basically, basically exposing Jocks in front of Paige. But the thing is, Paige didn't even give like a proper reaction. She was just like, oh yeah, I knew he was going to do that. He was going to play in my face like that. Basically, it wasn't even like a proper reaction. Like they were saying like Jocks and Paige were like Millie and Liam from last season. Like, Millie was actually real mad at Liam. Like, Paige and Jocks, Paige is just, she's just getting, you know, played, like, played, like, right now by Jocks. Um, then after that, Cheyenne was, like, she had a strong connection with, uh, um, Davity. So then you see Ek and Sue, like, scooting over from Davity, like, shook, like, oh, wow. Like, she didn't, like, didn't expect Davity to move like that. And she was moving. Davity just with a big smirk on his face, like, acting like everything's cool, everything's good. And, you know, you know, I can see was just so, like, shook that that was going on. So the next thing you know, that was the end of the recoupling. So we got Jay and China, uh, Josh and Danica. Uh, Davity and Ekin Sue, Paige and Jocks, Demi and Summer, Indian and Deji, Andrew and Coco, Tasha and Billy, Luca and Gemma. Yeah, that was basically the real gist of the situation. So now we have the aftermath of the you know conversations. So then we have you know Ekin Sue and Davity talking about you know what's going on, what happened. Davity is basically saying that he didn't get a chance to test out the relationship. You know, Ekansu got to test it out with Jay, but he never got a chance to do so. So that's why he, what he didn't cast some more. So with that conversation, it was just basically didn't go anywhere. It was just like, oh, he just got a chance to test out the relationship. That's it. So then we got Paige and Jocks. So Paige, you know, we had Andrew and Tasha. And Andrew and Tasha were talking and, you know, basically talking about what happened. 
like up there because she basically he basically like really disrespected her up there and um he they were basically talking about what happened she was like no i really had true feelings you know the girls were basically saying that you know they saw a different side of me when i was with billy blah 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 and then he basically said that he didn't see a future of coco so that's just letting you know right there he's not sticking with coco in any type of long-term relationship at all i don't even think a long-term relationship inside the villa i don't think he's gonna stay with her at all um yeah so that was their conversation then he ended up hugging tasha and having like a, a good hug with her so and i think that if and if there was a chance or opening that they can get back together i think he's gonna take that chance then next thing you know we got Paige and jocks so i guess Paige like finally realized she's being a mug by jocks and Jocks was just like, you know, I mean, at the end of the day, we're still, we're like, we're single. Like, it doesn't mean anything, like, to him. So then Paige, like, gets up and cries. And, like, all the girls came to back her, basically, like, wondering what happened. And um, she was just basically, like, repeating what Jocks said. And, you know, he basically, you know, played her as a mug. He basically did whatever he did and played her as a mug. So the next thing you know, we see a little preview, and the preview is showing, you know, Dami and India finally having a little conversation, which I, you know, I can't wait to see that. And then we have Paige and Jocks, not even Paige and Jocks, Jocks saying that, you know, is like he's about to leave the villa. And then we have Dami and Paige talking like, the thing that's funny is that why is she talking to Dami like Dami wasn't like the ringleader of the whole acting mad in the villa. Like he was making sure he had a partner in crime during Castle Moore. He was trying to enlist jocks. He got Andrew to be on board. He wanted some partner in crimes because Luca was not doing anything. And Luca said he was gonna stick with Gemma and he wasn't gonna mess around. Davini messed around a bit, but then by like the end of day two or whatever, he was just like over it. He really didn't care. And then, so really the only people who were really cracking on in Casamore was Dami, Jocks, and Andrew. That was it. I mean, Jay, he cracked on, but because he was single, he really hadn't, he wasn't in no relationship at all. So that was it. But I can't wait to see what happens tomorrow's episode, see what goes on. Um, a lot can really happen. Yeah, a lot can really happen. I mean, I'm kind of shook with some of the decisions that happen because, you know, a lot of people wanted to be spoiler, a spoiler person wanted to let you know what happened because obviously what happened in the villa is already, is already recorded. It's already like been happened. So we're just trying to catch up to see because we're not having anything in real time. So yeah, so everything's recorded. Like we don't know what happened. We don't know the aftermath, all that stuff. I think we're like two days behind. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like the video, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Peace.